All right, downtown San Diego, good morning to you. This is a look at the USS Midway and the Coronado Bridge. I don't see heavy marine layer clouds this morning. I think this may be the first time in months, I'm talking literally months, that we have not started off the morning completely socked in with marine layer clouds. 67 degrees right now at the airport. We are in the 60s for all of our other beach locations. 68 degrees right now in Alpine, 62 in Poway, 68 in Escondido. Good morning to my friends in Chula Vista. You're at 67, already at 90 in the desert. Here's your afternoon high temperatures. We're six to 13 degrees above seasonal averages for today. So even our coastal locations are on the warm side at 82, but nowhere near as hot as the rest of the county. Ramona at 102 and 120 degree heat today in our local desert. So that is just dangerous and that's not anything you want to mess around with. Heat advisory in place until tomorrow night for the inland and mountain locations. Also that excessive heat warning in place until 9 p.m. tomorrow for the desert. So that's the culprit. That's the high pressure system. It's moving itself right through San Diego County through today, tomorrow, start, sort of inching its way out by Sunday. You'll notice temperatures also backing down on Sunday. Now, taking you over to the East Coast, we are tracking Hurricane Isaias. Here's the projected track of the storm, which could bring it right into the eastern side of Florida as we get into tomorrow. So right now, Isaias is a Category 1 hurricane. Maximum sustained winds at 80 miles per hour. It's moving at 17 miles per hour, but it may swing through the Bahamas as a Cat 2 storm, then begin to weaken ever so slightly as it brushes up against Florida's eastern coast there. So nevertheless, our friends in areas like Miami are getting ready for that. Not easy to prepare for a hurricane. At the same time, you're dealing with a pandemic and that storm system may work its way right up into Georgia and then on into the Carolinas. So that's something that we're tracking for you. Back here at home, 80 at the beaches today, 97 degrees inland. We get into tomorrow, just uh, starting to see those temperatures back down, but still very warm. Relief from the heat is here by the middle part of next week. Time